Good morning. It's a beautiful day. What's up, Kit Kat? Hungry, Kit Kat? I get one half scoop of the finest. Go, Kit Kat. Nom noms. All right, it is just about four. I got my oatmeal right here. Also, I'm kind of sad I'm out of peppermint tea. I went too hard. I have some Swiss Miss hot cocoa. It's all right. It's not that hot, and it tastes like water. Anyways, I am about to watch another episode of Stranger Things because I just woke up, and, you know, I got to eat my breakfast, so... I'm gonna do that while watching another episode and then I'm gonna get into that editing. Totally. Okay, I know I said I was gonna watch one episode of Stranger Things, but I kinda watched three. And now we are on to lunch here. I have this package here from the James Box. Beef flavor Vietnamese rice noodle soup. I chose this one because it has a bowl. That's how lazy I am right now. I don't even want to dirty a bowl for my noodle soup. Okay, so my one complaint here, you open, you take out the soup base, and you take out the sriracha packet, but the sriracha is under the noodles here. And this, see that? That was annoying. Strike one. Okay, we got the water boiling here. You add the soup base first. Right. So, a lot of soup base. I'm hoping that means good broth. One thing I really enjoy in my noodle soups is the broth. Relax for four minutes. The four minutes has passed sriracha time. The sriracha is the most difficult part. One, under the noodles. Two, this packet sucks to open and squeeze the sriracha out. They could totally work on that. Stir well. I should have used a real bowl because this bowl is hot. All right, now back in the editing station. It's all right. I could use more hoisin. I could also use some more sriracha. I don't have sriracha in the house or I would add more sriracha. Other than that, the broth is pretty good. I've never had pho with the flat rice noodles. So this is kind of weird. I gotta say this is definitely better than the udon noodles though. If you remember those, those were like the super thick noodles. These are flat. It kind of covers the palate a bit more than I need, but it's all right. It's not too intruding. I will say, as the only instant pho noodle that I have tried, this is the winner. Good broth, noodles meh, but it definitely sets a base for the next noodle. The broth is growing on me. So, I have nothing to compare this noodle to. This is the first instant pho noodle. Out of five stars, I would give this three and a half. Minus five for the difficulty of the sriracha, getting it out of the package. Another minus five for not only getting it out of this bowl package, but getting the sriracha out of its own little packet itself. Too much trouble. The other minus five is because of the flat noodle. Like I said, it covers the palate more than it needs to. So this is a 3.5, which is pretty good. It could be higher if they provided more sriracha in the packet. Also, uh, the hoisin option. I like to have control of what goes into the broth a little bit more. They didn't give me very much control of the, the spicy factor or the hoisin factor. That concludes round one of Pho Noodles with Carmen. All right, I got the vlog uploading right now. Just hopped out the shower so I'm ready to get my day started. And by get my day started, I actually mean that I'm gonna watch more Stranger Things. Oh, toe update. Less red, less swollen, still ouchy. It is, I don't know how this keeps happening. It is 5.30 in the morning. 
We got 537. So that's that's a thing. Anyways, I just finished watching Stranger Things and I am not mad about that. Oh, all I wanted, I kept watching the next episode being like, all right, this is the last episode. I'll save I'll save a couple for tomorrow. I'll save, you know, one. I'll save one for tomorrow. I couldn't do it. I just wanted some sort of a resolution, you know? And I gotta say, no spoilers here, there is a resolution and that is all, all that I wanted. I'm happy where it ends, that's fine. Season three, yeah, yeah, there's another season coming out, duh. But there is some sort of resolution. I was gonna be so pissed. I just spit on myself. If nothing happened and it, they were just like, oh, wait till next season. But I'm happy. If you haven't watched Stranger Things, do it. And if you haven't watched Stranger Things season two, do it or don't. I like Stranger Things though, so I'm happy. I did make some more popcorn for Stranger Things. I used that seasoning too. It's just. It's not that seasony, and I swear I used a lot too. Quarter teaspoon per container, whatever that means. You need more than a quarter of a teaspoon. I probably used two tablespoons. I also made no idea why. Ugh, I gotta pull up the sleeves for this one. Jello. I made jello. Why? I have no idea. I feel like I've turned into my grandmother. I watched my story all day and I made some popcorn and jello. Wanna hang out? I really wanna try the jello. I do. It's 5.41 now. I think I'm not gonna eat yet. I'm gonna wait for some breakfast stuff. Oh, I've been compiling this bag here too. So there's a meat stick in here. Another noodle to test out for tomorrow. I got some peanut butter crackers. Basically, this is like a travel snack bag of of non-perishable foods. I came up with the idea like a couple days ago because I was looking at all my snack stuff. And so instead of meals tomorrow, I'm gonna try to just eat these non-perishable food items. Like for breakfast, we got breakfast on the go. So basically I'm like camping, but in my room. I do give myself the luxury of boiling water. I have a backpacking stove, but I'm not gonna bust that out, all right? I'm just gonna use this stove, the, this this stove and boil water right there. So I guess that means I'm not having jello for a couple days. Oh, I did decide, cause I make up the rules. I can eat my popcorn tomorrow if I want. There's a challenge with trying to eat just these snack items tomorrow. Tomorrow is Saturday, or today, it's it's 5.43. So on Saturdays, it's usually slumber party night. Cousin Sean comes over, my nephew Cameron, and we kind of like gorge out on some sort of frozen food, watch some cool kids movies. That poses a problem. I don't know how strong I can be when family snacky time comes around, but I'm hoping I can do it. Look, it's my kitten. Look, come on, clip. Oh, okay. You don't wanna be in the vlog today? No? Okay. I actually just came into the kitchen to check on my jello. I'll try a pumpkin. Um, I'm not sure that this really worked. Oh, it's a pumpkin. Attempt number two. Oh, it's a pumpkin. All right, these pumpkins kind of suck. On the package, it actually said, let the bottom of the jiggler pan sit in warm water for like 15 seconds or something. And I was like, it doesn't need to sit in warm water for 15 seconds. I think I should have let it sit in water for 15 seconds. But I have two zombie pumpkins. Woo! And back in the room. Mainly I went out there because I wanted to show you my jello. Pretty proud of myself for making jello. My grandma would be proud. I come from a long line of jello makers. My mother, she made jello. And her mother before her, she made jello too. 
and I will continue to make jello. So I made jello. I got all my food packed up for tomorrow. If cousin and nephew come through tomorrow, I'm not gonna camp in my bedroom. It'll be too hard, especially with a two-year-old. If cousin and nephew don't come tomorrow, I'll camp in my room. I'll use just candlelight. We'll see, we'll see how far I take this. It is now six o'clock in the morning and I need to, you know, try to get like some n n n normal. Is that how you say the word norm, normal? Normal sleep, oof. I gotta practice saying that a few more times for it to really work. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get this n n nor normal sleep. And in order for me to do that, the first step is to thank you really fast for liking, subscribing, commenting, whatever you're doing, playing along. I appreciate it. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye! My battery's about to die. Do you have any final words for the vlog? Also, dude, did you see that? I, like, saluted. Why was I saluting the vlog? Ow. Okay, okay, Mo Clips, um, release. Release your master! Apologize. Moclips, apologize. Oh, you just tear up the rug. Okay, I just fed you. That little son of a bitch drew blood. I have his drool on my hand, slobber. He got me. Moclips, that's not cool, man. Moclips, apologize. Are you sorry? Okay. I accept your apology.